Hey everyone, Mark from Top Homeowner. Today I want to talk a little bit about something that you can do from a maintenance standpoint that can actually save you money. All right, so what we're talking about is your air conditioner or actually even your heat pump. So a lot of times what happens is as, you're, uh, as you go and mow your grass or as you perform maintenance uh, on your yard, like if you do uh, trimming uh, or mowing or if it's just dusty, honestly, um, all that stuff can get caught in the fins and the coils of your air conditioner or your heat pump. And what happens is when that, when that occurs, it actually reduces the efficiency of your unit. So you wanna make sure you clean that out as regular as, and as thorough as possible. All right, so to give you an example here, on this unit, on this heat pump, you can see here that these aluminum fins are for the most part clean, right? They're a little bit older, especially towards the bottom. You can see there's some damage there. But if you look, around the back side, it's pretty much a solid wall of dirt. And what you need to do is you need to make sure that uh, this is cleaned out. You can just take a garden hose. I don't know that I would recommend a pressure washer because that's probably a little bit too much uh, pressure. It might actually damage the coils. So what you want to do is anywhere that you have these coils on your air conditioner unit, you need to make sure that you clean it out uh, probably at least once if not twice a year to make sure your unit is running as efficiently as possible. So the hose that we're going to be using to uh, clean these coils out is this new hose that we purchased um, called the Flex H2O hose. And uh, you may have seen these hoses, uh, probably different brand, and uh, may not be familiar with them. But basically they're hoses that kind of collapse uh, a lot more than your standard hoses. Your standard hoses takes up a lot of room, but this one, these are designed to be uh, a lot more uh, space, um, space saving, space efficient, however you want to say that and I uh, thought we'd try it out and see how well it performs. This little box, believe it or not, is supposed to hold 75 feet of hose, which is kind of kind of crazy. Doesn't look like that much in there. Okay, so after unrolling the hose, it actually, um, you can tell there's a lot more in there than what it appeared. Um, it was wound pretty tight. So it actually looks, does look like it's 75 feet. Um, it's a little bit weird, I mean, feeling, because it's, you know, pretty limp. You know, you're used to a hose that's got some stiffness to it. So I don't know if that's gonna be a problem like with it kinking or anything like that. So I'm just gonna kind of leave the hose in a pile like this and uh, turn on the water and see what kind of performance we get out of the hose pressure or if we're gonna have to straighten the hose out to uh, make sure it works uh, as it should. It's filling up, it's kind of expanding it looks like. I also don't know how this is gonna, like if I'm gonna have to completely empty the hose before I can it can go back to the same size that it was before, you know, for the space saving aspect, but so far it looks like it's it's working okay. It's kind of a, like a layer on top. And you always want to make sure that your air conditioner is off when you do this. Shouldn't really cause any problems, but it's always good to have electrical appliances and devices off before you mix it with water. At least that's my policy. Okay, so the unit's back on. As you can see here, um, really just a little low pressure water was all it took to get the majority of the dirt off the coils. And like I said, that should go a long way in helping make sure uh, this air conditioning, actually this heat pump unit, it runs as efficiently as it can. All right, so as far as the hose is concerned, um, I think my general impression of that is it's a, it's a good hose, especially if you're looking for something, if, if your uh, space is your top priority, but um, it seemed to be a little bit low power on, in terms of water pressure. So if you're looking for something that requires a little bit higher pressure, like um, a pressure washer, or if you're trying to wash your car, if you wash your car regularly, that's probably not the hose for you. I would go with a, a normal regular garden hose to make sure you get all the pressure that you can. Um, but again, if you're looking for something that's space saving, I would say that's a good option. All right, uh, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please go ahead and do that. Uh, we try to share regular tips on how to help you become the top homeowner in your neighborhood. All right, if you have any comments or questions, please be sure to leave those below and I'll see you next time.